All right. So this question, we have a point, we have a slope, and we have to find an equation of the line. And the line is y equals mx plus b. So we have to basically get the, the y-intercept because we have the slope. We just need the y-intercept, and then we can write the equation. So what I encourage students to do is to write, um, you know, well, let's for fun, why do we do this? Just just write down y equals like 2x plus b, right? Have, so it's mx plus b, but we have 2x plus b because we know the slope anyway, right? And so the next question is, okay, we want to find b because if I, if I have m and I have b, I can write out my equation, right? Um, so we've got to find b, um, and the trick is, like, we have a particular x and y point on the line, and it's negative 2, negative 5. So to find b, we can actually plug this thing in for y and this thing in for x, and it would work out. So we can go negative 5 in for y equals 2 times negative 2 plus b, and now we'll be able to solve for b. And so that's the hard part. Is that does that make sense at all, or? Yes, that makes sense. Yeah. And so, so now we've got negative 5 equals 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus b. And we got get b on its own. So get rid of this negative 4. This negative 4 is, is a complication in our life here. So how about if we add 4, then the negative 4 plus 4 makes 0, right? So let's add 4 to both sides. And now we have negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1 is b, right? And they, look, they gave us m at the beginning anyway. And then we plugged in these numbers for y, x, and m. And we played around, and all of a sudden, we have this. b is negative 1. So we have m, we have b. Now we can write the equation, right? So it's y equals mx plus b. So 2x plus negative 1 or just y equals 2x minus 1. And I'm the teacher, so I write out every step, but you guys don't have to write out as much as I do. But anyway, y equals 2x minus 1. Are you okay with that? Yes. Awesome.